Hey Zen fam, welcome to 2020 on the Zen Bloke channel and of course all the other Zen Bloke properties whether that be the Twitter, the Twitch, the Snapchat, the Instagram although I think I'm more or less going to quit uh, Snapchat I've still got the account but I don't really use it so I might quit that anyway and of course the Red Bubble store where you can buy fantastic Zen Bloke merchandise ha <laughs> ha and of course as always It'd be great if you did that rate, that favourite, the comment, and then share and subscribe. Especially the subscribe if you're new. Anyway, enough of the uh, prostituting myself for all my various bits and pieces. <laughs> Let's get into the uh, the crux of this video. As you can see, the majority of the screen is not taken up with me, as I normally like to sit in the middle and like, pontificate upon the things I know and the relatively educated guesses that I have for you, lovely ladies and gentlemen of the Zen fam. Ah, on this occasion, we're talking about the next controller, and as you can see behind me, I have the uh, the mock-up that was doing the rounds a wee while ago of the DualShock 5, or next generation controller, whatever you want to call it, of the, um, the sort of little back controls. The sort of extra two nubs with uh, two controls on each one. And as you can see, there's one that sort of goes over the main sort of body of it and the one that goes on the sort of back edge of it. And uh, it dawned on me that we don't really know how this thing holds, how it operates, how it plays. So I decided I would get some... Um, modelling stuff and I would roughly mock up a couple of these extra controls and then what I did was I stuck them on the bottle bottom bottle <laughs> the bottom of my DualShock 4 my trusty DualShock 4 that's been through the wars it's been with me all the time and I you know to my mind and I know that to some people this will be a um, an inflammatory statement, but to my mind, this is the most comfortable controller I have ever used, bar none. I fucking love this thing. I really do. I like the way the sticks feel. You know, I like the. I even like this nudge on the middle. It. It's. I don't know. It just. It all just feels right. The weight's right. The balancing is right. It's the brilliant controller. So my hope is that they don't change it too much. So I attached two little things here and I basically ran this simulation. Now as you can see I've put three separate bits of video here. It's like in one corner is the top view. In the other top corner is the bottom view and if you'll look closely both of these views are synchronized okay so you can see exactly what I'm doing at all times on both sides of the controller this was not an easy edit guys <laughs> okay and uh, on the bottom corner what you can also see is how they're attached and where they're attached because one of the corners I'll admit, is a little dark but you know, there's only so much you could do in editing. And uh, what I decided to do was sort of like play with the controller and si try to simulate as best I could playing with it with these extra nubs. And what I mostly found was is that uh, I didn't like how much of this I could hold. Because I'm generally, you know, like, like you guys, I'm kind of here and here. So some games do this and there's other games like this and until I use the other the other lower keys these fingers for the lower keys will often be resting here and this I find enormously comfortable I find this you know it's hard to do showing it like this but basically when it's up you know I'm here and I'm doing stuff you know like the rest of us you know now there'll be obviously some pro, pro guys that are going, oh, he holds it like a noob or whatever. 
I am not a noob. I've been playing games since I was like, God, I don't know. Like, I had a, my first console was a Commodore 16, okay? I was probably like seven or eight. I'm 45, I'm not a noob, okay? But, this, I really like this controller, so I decided to try and modify it with some of these mock controls. And the main thing I found was, as I was holding, I was continually bumping in to the backs of the controls or to the fronts of the controls, which to me would then to be unwanted inputs mid-game. And I'm like, do, I do we really need unwanted inputs when we're trying to do something? Imagine if it's like a fighter and you're trying to do this amazingly complex 10 hit combo and then whack your your middle finger goes into the back of the left nub you know that's another thing what are we even going to call these controls I mean we've already got R1, R2 and R and R3 when you depress the joystick you know and L's on the other side we've got the circle triangle square X you know the, the sacred symbols as Colin Moriarty likes to call them so what are we even going to call these controls and what functionality are they going to have that we don't already have? And then bear in mind that like we're trying to continually grow, ga grow gaming and if we're adding in new people all the time then this is more stuff for them to learn. So is more controls on the controller really a good thing? Now it's probably more controls is obviously to a lot of people better than more sort of physical controls like you know using the accelerometers and making things happen and a lot of people are not as keen on the touchpad although apparently according to the new patents the touchpad is going to be bigger and apparently more responsive although that's just patents I mean from the drawings those drawings could still be a touch screen so you know just because we have a patent drawing doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot. I mean, even what I've done here could still be proven to be completely and utterly totally false. But, so like I'm saying, you know, the way I'm holding and the way I tend to hold is incompatible thus far with what I've been able to mock up. Now, we have been told that the new, the new controller will be a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier you know so we'll have to see how that pans out but anyway I'd love to get your opinions down below guys so you know the drill hashtag support your Scottish YouTubers and of course as always I nay bother <laughs>